Nudie booty, nudie booty, nudie booty. <laughs> Pedro uses this knife for a l I'm finding so inspiring about Pedro is he completely fresh as it. You can't noodle this, you can't do paw for everything. Quick, get him a treat, quick. You ready? Okay, noodle. <laughs> everyone. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan. This is Noodle. And this is Tools of the Trade, the show <laughs> where we uh, see uh, what everyday items our everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. And today we are featuring the box from Pedro Villalon, who is the founder of O5 Rare Tea Bar in Vancouver. O5 Rare Tea Bar opened in Vancouver seven years ago after it moved from China. And one of the things that Pedro noticed about Vancouver, outside of how beautiful it is and how much he loved it, was that they did not have uh, a business that sold tea in the way that he liked to drink it or the way the traditional tea is consumed. And people started to come in and thinking they were just gonna get a cup of tea. Pedro started to explain to them, no, 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 this isn't just a tea. This is a unique batch of tea that comes from this region of China. It's foraged and grown by this man and it comes from this plant. And this really blew people away in Vancouver. And now he's got a bump in business of people who just like to drink fancy tea. I'm so excited to get into this box. Noodle is riveted. Noodle is absolutely riveted. Is he on camera or is he just kind of beached off? He's tea drunk. Noodle is, Noodle is absolutely tea drunk. He's just, just kombucha like crazy. So we're gonna open this box. I'm really excited. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I like this. There isn't a ton of, there isn't a ton of stuff in here. Um, okay, so the first thing he's got in here is a Litech coffee tea kettle. Oh, it's no, it's just a little tiny little baby. I thought this was like an electric tea kettle. You know what, of course this guy doesn't use electric tea kettles. This sounds pretty legit. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's got, it's for loose leaf tea. This is a real, my God, it's got a little travel bag with it too. Um, yes, you've got a little teapot in here. Um, so this is a coffee tea kettle. It's 0.9 liters. It's durable, it's compact, and it's easy to clean. Just like, I was gonna say like Noodle, but Noodle is very durable, he's kind of compact, and he is not easy to clean. This little guy right there, wow, you really gotta keep your eyes peeled for things that happen in there. I think this is, obviously it makes perfect sense that this is in here if you own a tea business, or even if you're somebody who, if you're not drinking coffee in the morning, you're drinking tea in the morning, and this is good for both. Okay, the next item we've got in here, which is a sort of a cool, I don't know what this thing is, but I love it. It looks like a cloth. It looks like something that you might very well use to hold, sort of like a tea kettle. Okay, so here I was thinking this was just a simple cloth. Essentially what this is, and I don't know why these are here, I'm gonna put this back, is this is a traditional Japanese cloth that um, Pedro said that he uses for absolutely everything. So you use this either when you're, if you're cooking and you need to keep your hair up, you use this. He says that what he uses this most for, and I think this is the most interesting, is it shows the versatility of an everyday item. He goes, and it makes perfect sense, he travels to a lot of different tea mountains because teas, different types of teas, grow in different types of climates and some of them are super, super harsh. And when he's going around and literally foraging for teas, he can use this as almost like a bag. He can use it for first aid, right? So imagine you're on your tea mountain and you just kind of fall and you need a band-aid or something and you were like, oh, God forbid a tourniquet, bam, you got one right there. You might have to spare your tea or kind of shear the cloth, but you can really make something happen with this. Ooh, I would use this to apply ointment to noodle. Okay, the next item we've got, the next item we've got, they're not treats for you. I'm so sorry, Noodle. Ooh, oh, it's always like, it's like Christmas every day for me. This is so fun. You guys get to unwrap it too, but I'm the first one who gets to do it. Oh, it's a stacking mug. Oh yeah, I bet he's got a ton of these at um, uh, 05 Rare Tea Bar. I bet he's got a ton of these. Oh yeah, this is just a little mug to drink your tea in. This is a nice mug. Let me see what this says. Stacking mug, nestable in H series. So something tells me there have been a few series of these. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh yeah, this is all just part of a little set. So you can collect these. And I can imagine that this is one of those cups that sort of has an insulating property to it. This is durable. You wanna talk about durable. I bet titanium is something that you drink out of and it. What do you want? 
I bet this helps to sort of maintain the flavor of the tea. I bet this doesn't sort of impede that flavor at all. Something tells me that this man is incredibly thoughtful, not only of the tea he sources, but of the things he serves his tea in. Okay, okay, so the next item we've got in here, oh yeah, this is tea. Ooh, it's matcha. It's got a little preserved lid on it. I'm not gonna open this. So this is Gen Ryu Matcha. Forgive me for butchering the pronunciation of that. Um, it has notes of green almonds, umami, and kale, which is very sort of interesting, right? Very sweet green ask. But I bet when you steep this and the quality of the ingredients and the way that it's been put together, it's absolutely amazing. And if anyone is a big matcha drinker or a green tea drinker, this is something that I'm sure you, you might not have even had something like this before. Oh, this is from his. This is his tea that he packages himself. It says right here, 05 rare tea plus kombucha bar. The uh, Yoshida family has been producing award-winning tea for roughly three centuries. Come on, family. That's amazing. This bar is very much designed for people who want to have a special tea experience, right? I can understand why it's 05 rare tea bar, because this is not common, right? This is something that you have to travel to his location to see. And in any other instance, you, oh my God, he did it again. You're so sweet. You, but the problem is you cannot have green almonds, umami, or kale. You ready? Okay, noodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. The next item we have in this box is Phil and Sebastian coffee roasters. Ethiopia. Notes of apricot, blackberry, floral grown in Ambella Wamena West Guji. Okay, so I'm not gonna try that. It's coffee. It's coffee. And it's really nice coffee. You can even Oh my God, it's, my heart rate's picking up. I'm thinking about running. It's that kind of thing. Oh, this smells amazing. Whether it's tea or whether it's coffee, it's very clear that Pedro is concerned and very passionate about what he's brewing. Obviously tea is this man's passion and this man's business, but everyone can make a little room for some coffee, especially if it's got some nice beans and it's made correctly. Right, you never know. Okay, okay, okay. And it looks like the final item we have in the Pedro Villalon box is, oh Jesus, keep this away from Noodle, it's a blade. <laughs> it's just a sharp knife. It's a pocket-sized blade knife that will amaze you with its versatility. Absolutely, so I bet this knife he uses for foraging. I can imagine that when he's out at one of these tea mountains, right, with his cloth, that this is some other tool that he keeps on it. It helps him um, to either pick the tea uh, or uh, just, yeah, to forage through the plants. Okay, so Pedro uses this knife for a lot of things. He also uses this for just his everyday stuff he has to do as a business owner. He uses it to open boxes. He uses it to help cook for himself. And I think there's something really incredible about someone who, and especially in the tea business, right? Someone who is hands-on, who does understand the importance of uh, of the manual labor that goes into uh, picking the tea, into drying the tea, into steeping the tea. And I think that this sort of is the same practice. It's a nice sharp blade too, so, you know. That's everything. That is everything in the Pedro Villalon box of 05 Rare Tea Bar in Vancouver. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you loved all of the items in this box um, just as much as I did. I'm really inspired by Pedro. Obviously, anyone who opens their own business is you know, a total badass. It's always so incredible to see the actual everyday items that they need to get through. How incredible that the man who started one of the most famous tea shops in Vancouver is a coffee drinker. Right? You never knew. If you like the items that you saw in this week's box and you want to win them, all you have to do is visit our Instagram page when this video goes live and comment on the video. Uh, tag a friend in your comments. You can enter up to five times and you'll be automatically entered to win this box. To see more videos like this and other GoDaddy series, please make sure to go like, subscribe, and ring the bell of the GoDaddy YouTube channel so you can get alerted every time a new tools episode goes up or another one of our many series uh, that we produce for you. So, for myself, for Noodle, for Noodle's insatiable need for snacks, and 05 Rare Tea Bar, thank you so much for watching.